It's no secret that most crop failures occur due to irrigation problems. The crop is either watered too much or too little. Although environmental problems could contribute, the problem is generally caused by human error. Inadequate irrigation makes plants susceptible to diseases and insect infestation. I'm going to talk about using a tensiometer, which is a tension meter, to detect moisture used by and available to the plant. These are model MLT, which means miniature low tension meters, manufactured by the aerometer company. This aerometer is used for manual detection of moisture. And this one is used for automatic irrigation operation. For proper plant growth, it is essential to achieve a proper balance of air and moisture in the soil. If the soil is too wet, not enough oxygen is available to the plant's roots. And if the soil is too dry, the plant doesn't get the moisture it needs. I'm going to explain how to use a tensiometer, which is a tension meter, to indicate soil moisture. The tensiometer is a sealed tube filled with water that has a porous ceramic tip on one end and a vacuum gauge on the other. The water-filled tube is placed in the soil with the ceramic tip in the root area of the plant. When the soil is saturated, as this one was, the needle on the gauge remains very close to zero. As the soil dries, the plant roots pull or suck on the soil for moisture. A minute amount of water is pulled from the tip, resulting in an increase of vacuum in the sealed water column indicated on the vacuum gauge. As the soil dries, the pull becomes greater and the vacuum indications increase. I will describe this manual operation aerometer in this segment and describe the automatic operation in the next segment. I will actually set up a, a garden to operate on automatic irrigation. When you received your equipment, you also received a fully illustrated detailed instruction manual. You also received a small bottle of green dye and a syringe. The green dye is used to tint the water, the distilled water used in the liquid column of the aerometer. The syringe is used to inject the green liquid, the distilled water, into the liquid column and also to evacuate the air bubbles from the column. So basically, the tensiometer reads the physical sources in the soil or growing media and indicates the condition on a vacuum gauge. The main components of the unit are a vacuum gauge, a reservoir, a liquid column, and a ceramic tip. The gauge is graduated in centibars, which is a measurement of tension. To prepare the aerometer for operation, soak the tip for approximately two days. This will ensure that the ceramic tip is fully saturated and ready for use. We will install the aerometer in an echo grow pot containing coarse organic grow media.
to make sure the instrument is placed at the right depth without obstruction, I've marked a half inch piece of PVC to place in the soil to make sure there's no obstruction. At this point, it's also best to have the soil saturated as well. We transport the uh, aerometer installed in the distilled water. We place it in the hole we've provided to the depth required. At this point, we remove the cap and get ready to fill the tube and the reservoir with the aerometer solution. We can also perform the fill process on the bench, which will probably be easier to see. It's very important to use distilled water during the process. First we take a few drops of the coloring solution and add it to the water in the cup. We just need enough, just a few drops, to color the solution. The reason for this is so that we can tell inside the aerodometer when the solution is getting low. We pull some liquid into the syringe. Doesn't take very much. And then we place it in the aerometer. Don't seat it into the O-ring because it'll cause an air bubble. So when we get it nearly full, we need to draw a vacuum. Just draw a vacuum to remove any air bubbles from the system. We move slowly so as not to peg the meter. Do that process several times to make sure there's no air in the system. Then top off the reservoir all the way full. Tap the reservoir to make sure there's no air bubbles in the reservoir. Place the cap on finger tight, just snug. You might get a little bit of a deflection in the, in the mirror. Now the aerometer is ready to go. So now we place it in the soil in the place provided. Make sure it's packed tight and get ready for reading the soil moisture. Here's the indication 24 hours after installation and we can see a very slight decrease in moisture already. We're now into about a week without watering and we see approximately 16 cinnabars of vacuum. The plant still looks well so we know there's adequate moisture at this time. So here we are at day 9. We have a vacuum of 20. The plant still looks great. And I can still feel moisture in the soil. So we got a way to go yet. Now the reason this is taking a lot longer to dry out than a normal pot is this is one of the echo grow pots and there's a small reservoir at the bottom of the pot and there's capillary action. So it's basically self-watering to a point and it'll require replenishing as soon as you get a little bit higher reading. So we'll catch it again tomorrow. Here we are the tenth day and we're reading about 24 cinnabars and the plant is starting to look 
just a little peaked. So I think another day or two we're going to have to irrigate. So day 11 we have 28 and the plant is definitely ready for water. I irrigated the plant after the last segment and as you can see the soil is saturated and the plant has recouped. That was a very good test however I will be irrigating much sooner probably between 20 and 25 in the future to cause less stress to the plant. So what did I learn during this experiment? Number one I learned that I was irrigating my plants way too much at least two to three times more than necessary. So learning this can obviously save water which in turn saves a couple of bucks. I also learned that if you irrigate in a timely manner you can reduce stress to your plants and probably increased harvest. And finally I learned that I will be using the aerometer in the future. This is Ron Kleinman saying goodbye from my very messy greenhouse. I appreciate you watching my video and I hope you learned something. I know I did. Anyhow, take care. And if you want to see updates and if you want to see the automatic operation, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you later. We'll make a penetration to the right depth close to the root ball. Make sure there's no obstructions. Remove the PVC and insert the aerometer. Pack it around. And the aerometer is ready to go. Replace the magnetic switch. And later, when we see the condition of the plant, we'll see where to set that switch to create automatic irrigation.